Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Mega Coin Squad from Adult Swim Games. This game is coming out on August 15th on Steam. It'll initially be available for the price of just 12 bucks, but it will then thereafter be 15 now, I said Adult Swim games, right? But let's not forget, Adult Swim is a publisher, not a developer. This game was developed by Big Pixel Studios. They are a UK-based developer who's dabbled in some mobile games, made a game called Landa Panda, where you have to get two pandas to mate by shooting one of them at the other. Actually, it looks like a pretty novel concept. And they also made some really great Marvel Flash games, tie-in games for the Avengers movies. Spent about 10 minutes playing the uh, Captain America game, I was going to say the uh, Thor game, but I only glanced at the Thor game. Uh, Avengers game, Thor game, and a Captain America game. Played a little bit of the Captain America game. I was impressed for what it was. It was very good. A nice flash platformer. Colored me impressed. Happy to have these guys in the PC gaming space with Mega Coin Squad. So let's jump into the game here. You can kind of get an idea pretty quickly what the game is all about. We're going to start with our character selection screen. I have beaten the game with Mouth, the odd, unshaven man in a cat suit. And I have some progress here with this gruff-looking guy who sort of looks eerily like me, including the graying chin beard. Hmm. But I think we're going to pick a different character for this. Just start from scratch with a base character. And uh, you guys will quickly get an idea of what this game's all about. We're just going to go with this guy. He is the average guy. Nice guile style haircut. So let's jump right into it and you will see what Mega Coin Squad is all about. So we got a bank of 150 coins in our giant amazing looking piggy bank. All kinds of stuff going on on the screen right now. Try to take some of it in as you can, but uh, really I'm just going to kind of run you through the basics here, give you my solid first impression of this game. After about, let's say, four and a half hours played total between uh, sort of toying around and everything, uh, you may not have noticed it took me 113 minutes to fully beat the game with the mouth character. So that's an indication of sort of what you should expect when playing the game. Now, you can beat it multiple times with multiple characters, so you got a little replay value in, in that. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about this gun I'm holding. I do uh, have a machine gun, and you do have weapons in this game. In addition to, as you've already seen, perhaps, got some moves I can do, sort of little... Uh, Comet or Dragon Punch sort of thing there. I can do that up, I can do that down, I can do that to the left, I can do that to the right. So I can do that in all directions. Yeah. So you notice I have a piggy bank blazing over top of my head. That means I've got all the coins I need and I should drop them off at our piggy bank. I'm going to start to deposit them. Turn your eyes to the upper left, excuse me, upper right hand corner of the screen. You see that diamond with a timer by it that just disappeared as I was drawing your attention to it. That means that I got in under the one minute and 20 second mark. I also put all my coins in in one bank and I didn't take any damage on the level. That's going to get me three diamonds and that's going to give me the ability to spin the wheel or spin the Mario 3 block in order to get some power-ups. And this is the cool thing about the game. You're going to slowly power your, your character up, each individual character up, and you're going to start to get more and more upgrades, and you're going to start to get completely new abilities. You can see right here we have a double jump available, so I'm going to work hard to actually pull that double jump. So let's wait for it, wait for it, and hit it. There we go. So now we have a double jump. And the whole game is changed now. The double jump really does expand your ability to get them coins and really helps out a whole lot. It's a big boon to get that on the very first level. So we'll jump in, we'll play a couple more levels, just give you guys an idea of what this game is and why I think it's a damn fine game. Really top quality. You're noticing the graphics, I hope. They are amazing. Each area is themed. There is a, of course, there's this happy rainbow forest. There is a volcano area. There's a desert area. There is also a snow area. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for areas. But amazing pixel art, just amazing. Like, this is really high quality stuff, and I'm really happy to be uh, checking this game out right now. Super impressed by everything. The controls are nice and tight. Uh, I am using a controller for this. Mouse and keyboard options are available, though I have not tried them, so I can't tell you if they're viable or not, but they are available. 
Let's see, kind of worked myself into a odd spot there. So let's try to jump in here, grab a power up. And you notice kind of the strategy here. Uh, bashing blocks does get you coins, but mostly you just want to try to collect as many coins as you can here in the main area. And these little uh, platforms are going to spawn and despawn, and it's going to change the whole uh, level, the whole design of the level and how everything works. Little bombs here that are going to make some nice explosions for us. You're going to watch out for enemies. You don't want to get hit if you can avoid it, of course. You have three... Uh, hits you can take. You can see in the upper left-hand corner, you'll notice my smooth guile-looking fella with his three hearts. You can also see my current amount of coins. I have 30 seconds left to collect about 25 more coins. So let's go ahead and do that and get us into positive coin territory. Let's feed our pig and let's finish up this second level. There we go. The coins do take some time to get into the bank, so be careful. Just because you've still got time on the clock doesn't mean you're going to get the pig fed in time to actually make your timer. But again, triple diamond score here. So, thumbs up. We're happy. Let's get some more power-ups, then I'll show you one more level before we kind of end things up here. What do we want? What do we want? I like that rainbow-colored coin. Let's grab that. That's a coin spawner. When you pick one up in a level from a P block, you will start to spawn coins everywhere. The rocket launcher is a pretty good weapon. At later levels, it will actually seek in on your enemy. Let's go for the magnet this time. It's going to come up right after the assault rifle, so let's hit it. And the coin magnet does what you might expect it does. It magnets in coins. <laughs> magnets in? Is that even a word? Uh, it attracts coins, uh, as you would expect. So again, we're expanding our gameplay here by getting these power-ups, we're getting new weapons available, we're getting the coin spawner, we're getting the coin magnet, it's great. Now that stuff is going to taper off as you go into the further uh, depths of the game, but then again, the game is not that long. Four levels per world, four worlds total. Again, about an hour and a half, or excuse me, about uh, just shy of two hours, 113 minutes, so I guess that's six... Seven minutes, can I do math? Seven minutes short of two hours for me to beat the game with one character. And that did involve uh, getting stuck in a few places. Uh, one thing I'll say real quick here, if you lose your lives, uh, all three of your hits in a, in a match, you're going to have to go back to the first level in the world that you're currently in. So I'm on level 1-3 right now. If I die on this level and choose to continue, I'll have to continue from world 1-1 one, one, and I'll lose any upgrades I've gotten. So this next thing coming up, the big, big buzzer looking thing that is uh, the next level after this one, 1-4, one, that's going to be kind of like your save point. It's going to lock in all the upgrades that you've gotten and it's going to progress you into the next area. So uh, let's try to see if we can maybe get there. And we'll kind of check it out. Uh, just let you guys, really, I just want you to get a feel for this. Just watch this game in motion, listen to it, and I think you will uh, quickly be won over by Mega Coin Squad. I said listen to it. That is the music of Mr. Gavin Harrison that you're hearing. Uh, Gavin has been popping up on my radar quite a lot lately. Uh, now, this guy's not doing, uh, he's not going real far down when I do the uh, downward thrust. I think that's because of his weight stat. Uh, other characters that I've used, especially the big character Chunk, uh, had a whole lot of weight, so he he went a lot deeper into the uh, into the rocks. I'm just sort of talking out loud, reasoning some things out in the middle of uh, telling you how awesome Gavin Harrison's music is. Uh, Gavin Harrison did music in Halfway, which is a great game that uh, recently came out uh, that I will hopefully be previewing here on the channel. He also did some stuff for. Uh, Rob Farron's DRM. I think he did one song on the DRM soundtrack. He's he's a prolific guy. I think he did a little work for Life of Pixel, uh, and I love his music. He's got a great sense uh, of rhythm. Of course, you know he's a musician, so you'd have to. But he really makes music that is uh, upbeat and really well well suited to the subject matter. So we've got our uh, we've got our money. So let's feed our pig. Gonna have to watch out for this guy here. Let's hit him with a. Haruken, and finish up. And again, we triple start it, or triple diamond it. And, uh, yeah. That's that. So I'll show you the 1-4 uh, level, just so you can get an idea. It is the uh, same for every area. 1-4, 2-4, 3-4. It's a little bit of an enemy rush. It's not an actual coin collecting level. So you can check that out here in just a moment. Let's uh, pick what we want. Let's see. Let's enhance our... 
charge ability. Whoops, that is actually bonus time. But hey, nothing wrong with that. I'll take bonus time too. We've got a whole new set of stuff here. Do we want to unlock invincibility? I don't know. Notice it's getting faster and faster uh, every time you get a power up. So uh, let's just do this at random. Just bash into it and we'll unlock invincibility. All right, nothing wrong with that. And one more level two invincibility. So we're going to be quite invincible now. I think each level, uh, subsequent level, generally just increases the time. So level two invincibility means you're invincible for longer. Level two coin spawner means you have more time to spawn more coins, etc. Uh, I haven't dug too deep into the theory crafting of this game, but I tell you what I have dug down into this game on, I have loved. So here we are in this little arena. We are going to now get a chance to grab a couple of weapons and then we are going to have to endure a few enemy spawns. In the case of this, I mean, we're talking about some pretty simple stuff here. Uh, not really too much that we have to worry about in this early sort of boss rush. It's not really a boss rush because these aren't bosses, but, uh, you know, in this early enemy rush, not a lot we have to really worry about here. Oh, that was a good shot. And another. All right. The drill cannon, I don't really care for it because it kind of shoots that arc like that. And I have a lot of trouble controlling that. Yeah, I successfully did it there, though. All right, so these little purple guys down here like to shoot at you. So I like to shoot at them first. No timer as far as I can tell here. You're just killing enemies. It's just a survival thing. And uh, then you grab this big old coin and put it in your pig. And that's all there is to it. So there's really not a whole lot more to say about this game. I mean, you're seeing it right here on display. You should know if you're going to like this right now, just from looking at this. I can't recommend this game highly enough. I've had a ton of fun with this game. It's just the right sort of arcadey fix that I needed. It's just a game about collecting coins and doing crazy dragon punches and shooting guns at weird colorful, colorful enemies. It looks great. It plays great. It sounds great. This is exactly what you expect from Adult Swim games. And I'm really happy that you've got uh, publishers out there helping out developers, guys like Adult Swim games, Midnight City, and uh, the like, who are really establishing a, a sort of a feel or an identity, let's say. Uh, if I say an Adult Swim, this is an Adult Swim game, you're probably going to think of certain types of gameplay mechanics or visual styles. And yeah, I, I like that. I like the days when we had publishers who fit a mold. You know, if I said it's an EA sports game, well, damn, you knew what the hell it was going to be then, didn't you? If I said it was a treasure game, then you knew what it was going to be. If I said that it was a Koei game, you knew what it was going to be. You know, you knew from the developer and or the publisher that this game was going to be coin, uh, coin spawner here in action. Got to keep moving, spawn those coins. Want to keep moving as much as you can to spawn those coins. Uh, you know, they had identities and they weren't just these mega publishers that just published a little bit of everything. They had divisions or they had indeed uh, whole sections, you know, EA Sports Big. Anybody remember that, right? What kind of games were those? They were just crazy sports games off, just totally off the chart, stupid snowboarding games, crazy games where NFL football players ran around on the streets, you know, just silly stuff like that. I like it when developers have identities and I have liked the recent oh gotta hate that 150 coins gonna fall out of my body I'm not gonna be able to collect all of them nope I love it I love guys like Midnight City who are out there uh, establishing an identity and looking for games that sort of fit with that identity I really like this current trend in independent games and I guess once you have a publisher are you still an independent game who cares you know, who cares? If if you if Chucklefish is putting out your game, I don't care. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna challenge your indie cred, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna play your game and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna be happy uh, that I found it and I'm gonna be happy that I'm getting to experience it. And if it, a publisher is what brings that to my attention, then that's what that, that's what it is. So be it. All right, guys. I don't really think there's a whole lot uh, more here to show you when it comes to Mega Coin Squad like the game i love the game hopefully you'll enjoy it hopefully you will take a chance on mega coin squad on august 15th on steam again highest highest recommendation all right guys i have been big dave and until next time take it easy